I would have destroyed myself with that woman. Gladly. I would have eaten garbage. I would have slipped my wrists open. Well, under the right circumstances, I mean, if she had just come up to me and said, Hey, Phil, why don't you just cut your wrists open? Well, I mean, come on, but we clicked. We connected on so many levels. Right off the bat, we talked about God for three hours once. I don't know what good it did, but that intensity. And when we first went to bed, I didn't even touch her. I didn't want to. Do you understand? I know, right? I was playing it easy because I've had some rough experiences in the past, and I'd be the first to admit it. But I laid it all out. Everything I wanted to say. Do you know what she says to me? She says, nobody should ever need someone that badly. What? What is that? Is that something you saw on TV? I pour my heart on the line and you give me joy so after fucking brothers? Need. Need. I'm saying I love you. Is that not okay? Is that not allowed anymore? Need. Need. So what if I did need her, huh? Fine, crucify me. I needed her. I like being by myself. When I'm by myself, I feel like I'm going out of my mind. I do. I sit there and I think, forget it. You're not going to make it past these next 10 seconds. But I do. Somehow I make it past those 10 seconds. But then I have to do it all over again and I can't stand it. It's like my body, right? is the size of the Statue of Liberty. And I'm one of those legs. I'm down on one of those gigantic hairy legs scraping to get out. And I don't know who I am or where I'm going. And I wish I'd never been born. And also my hair is falling out. And that really sucks.